today I thought I'd uh, show you guys how we go through the dry decking a cylinder head um, it's uh, if you're not familiar with the process it basically means we're taking all of the coolant passages and we are going to weld them up you can see we've we've cleaned the surface a little bit obviously the head is dirty needs more cleaning yet but um, we've taken our uh, just a burr around the odd shape this is a 4g 63 cylinder head they have some odd shaped coolant passages but you can see we've put a decent chamfer on there cut as far in there as we can the round stuff we actually take a drill bit cut them out then chamfer it um and we just take your your normal like sos style pad on a on an air grinder on a 90 degree grinder to prep the surface around where we're going to weld i'm going to touch this up a little bit some of these don't have a enough of it cleaned up yet but obviously that's that's an oil hole a head stud hole um so yeah we're gonna run through that process um the other thing we do with these uh, obviously there's no water running through the between the block in the cylinder head and the head gasket anymore so we will put a dash 16 fitting where there used to be a soft plug uh, on the front side of the cylinder head and then you can run water through the head through the normal thermostat housing on this on one side and then where that soft plug is on the back that allows us to still run coolant uh, through the cylinder head the block for this has already been filled with uh, uh, with hard block we do that in a kind of a unique process we take the block and we put a torque plate on it torque all the mains and then we fill it vertically um, I can show you that in a little bit but uh, just so you get an idea what I'm talking about I'm going to put this thing in the oven. We bake these in the oven at like usually 300 degrees, 350 degrees for about an hour or two uh, before we before we weld them. Obviously, this is the first step that you can see we've just disassembled it, threw it in the hot tank. And then uh, uh, this is the, the welding is the last thing we do before we start doing the machine work. We want to do that first just in case the casting gets deformed or anything happens from the heat from the welding on the surface of the cylinder head and uh, we'll do our valve job and our guide work and everything once that's completed so i'm gonna throw this thing in the oven and check it out in a little while now that this thing's out of the oven and preheated we're gonna go ahead and start welding i gotta get after it while it's still hot here so Okay, now that this thing is uh, is all welded up, um, the next thing that I do is I will stick it in the oven, close the oven up to allow the thing to just cool off slowly. I don't want to cool it off too quick. All right, I got the head decked, the valve job done, the port work done, um, relatively cleaned up, ready to put the plate from the uh, for the O-ring tool on the cylinder head side of things so i'll show you how that works first we've got the first thing i gotta do is put the dowels in i got these dowels that i i threaded to pull out with uh basically a bolt through a socket and some washers but i'll uh, get this thing on here and talk to you through the rest of this Now the plate's on there, it's set up, it's squared and level. Um, I got the cutter set to the diameter. And so now basically we stick it on there and we run through the process of cutting the grooves for the O-ring wire in the cylinder head.
All right, got the grooves all cut. Uh, now it's time to lay the O-rings in there and file fit them. That can be quite a challenge to get the ends correct. Um, you'll see I, I use my uh, my ring filer uh, to get the, not to really, you're not trying to get a gap at the end of them, but you gotta get it, it's super hard, difficult to get them like perfectly butted up. I usually cut the two on an angle so the tapers overlap. Uh, it's really too small to show you that in the video, um, but if you've done these before, or you know, plan on doing them some point yourself, you'll understand what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start cutting the grooves and laying them in here. You'll see I have a little piece of PVC that in a plastic hammer I use to tap the O-rings in. Uh, once I feel they're at the right diameter, I'll have to pull, put them in, pull them out several times usually to get the them butted up correctly, so. All right, we got all the O-rings in it. Give you a little close up there. I know it's kind of hard to see from zoomed out, but uh, yeah, so that's that's the process on uh, putting a stainless steel O-ring and, and dry decking the cylinder head. This would be obviously used with a uh, O-ring receiver groove set up using a copper head gasket. Um, this is uh, obviously a 4G63 setup specifically. Uh, now it's ready to be cleaned and the rest of the Beltrain stuff set up and off it'll go to the customer.